Day five, just your assessment of first day five. I thought both sides, I thought today was a good day. I mean, I thought it was a lot better than yesterday uh, as far as both sides competing against one another, both sides making plays. Uh, we did some competition, some live competition today. You know, today was full pads, so our guys were able to compete in some certain situations that they might face in a game. And defense came on top. They won, but it was a, it was a really close battle. You know, it's kind of a little bit a little bit of a baby step. But do you feel like the guys are really looking forward to finally getting those full pads on and and start making a little more contact and things of that nature? I, I'm sure they are. Uh, the thing about that is that the longer that we go into camp, the tougher that it gets. Uh, that we want that same type of energy and enthusiasm uh, five six days from now. I mean, we're still. It's getting closer to the first game, but we're not even thinking about that. We still have a long ways to go. And with that being said, you know, every day is we're in camp mode. So every day we're kind of doing the same thing. We're, we're in the we're in a heavy schedule. Guys got a lot of time right now to study the game of football. School hasn't started right now. I mean, if they're knows they're if I'm if they're young and I even told the veterans today, they need to make sure they're you know, when we have meetings, but they're watching film on their own, they should be looking in their playbooks on their own. They're doing everything they can to prepare themselves to continue to get better each and every day they're out here. And real quick, if you could talk about the defensive backs. You know, we had some of those guys in here, and you have some guys who have been through some of the grind, and, and Jarrett and Ace and, and Marcus, and, and, you know, they're looking to set the tempo. Well, both those guys, you know, Jarrett was injured last year, and he's been around here forever. Uh, and he's always done everything we've asked of him, and we're looking forward to him having a good year and having a big role. Uh, Ace Mays, uh, due to some academic issues, wasn't able to play last year, and now he's back uh, ready to play, and we're looking for him to play like a senior, even though he's got to knock a little bit of rust off. Uh, we, are, we do have some veterans at the safety spot, you know, with Marcus Houghton uh, coming back. Uh, Gary Woods coming back, who started last year as a redshirt freshman for us. Uh, we brought in some transfers uh, out there uh, at the corner spot. We felt like we needed some help there uh, with Marquez. Uh, he transferred in from Independence and then uh, Cody Savage at safety. And then we got some really good high school players, I think, in the secondary. And I'm probably going to miss somebody, but Keelan Gordon has really showed up. True freshman from Dell City. Uh, Cody Latson at, at safety and uh, Cody Savage, who's a transfer from Kansas State. I mean, I've seen those guys continuing to get better.